The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. stood for equality for all. Many United Methodists valued his vision and his leadership. The Reverend Joseph Lowry described King's impact on him and others. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi, from every mountainside. He was perhaps the most spiritually empowered person in terms of the struggle for human justice and human rights that I ever met. I consider myself having been blessed to have known him so well and for so long, and yet I wish it could have been longer. He used to say to me, Joe, I'll never live to be 40. And I saw, come on, man, you're going to live to be old like old Rip Van Winkle. You're going to be old with this long beard dragging the ground. But he was right. He died at 39. The fact that he lived under the danger of fear of death and in the shadow of death, it never affected his commitment to move on a journey toward freedom and justice. And he often said, if a man doesn't have something he can die for, then he'd question whether he has anything really to live for. You really don't understand nonviolence as a lifestyle until you get in the midst of a crisis. But as we moved through the struggle, it became a way of life. And love, which we think perhaps subconsciously was there all the time as we were followers of Jesus Christ, that love came out and, and love uh, translates itself into nonviolence. We were careful that we did not hate because we never hated white people. We hated the deeds and the policies and practices that characterized life in those days and to some extent today as well. We wanted to redeem people. I thank him for the inspiration that he provided for me, that not only in his life, but even in his death. When I think of him and his courage, I found strength. This video was brought to you by the people of the United Methodist Church through world service donations.